hello everyone in the previous video we set up our organization so now the time is to create our application in the zoho so let's type here uh, api console zoho and hit enter and click on this zoho developer so it will redirect us on the account dot zoho so it's a api console dot zoho and then you need to click on this get started so if you are not logged in you need to log in here so i'm already logged in so it's assigned me uh, it's showing me that i'm logged in so here you can create the different type of application so the first category is client based application so these are totally client based so these are server based and then these are mobile applications so if you are using this for mobile so you can use this so you can also use this for smartphone and tablets okay so non browser application so if you are going to use uh, this uh, this one uh, according to your requirements so you can use this one so i'm going to use this server based because i'm going to perform some actions in the server and retrieve the data from the server so web based that are built on run dedicated http server so we are going to send the http request from our uh, we are going to use the http client which is built in the laravel so let's enter the client name so my client name is zoho test so you can name whatever you want and here you need to type your home url so i'm going to type the local host 8000 because i'm going to perform this locally and then here you need to also uh, type this local host and redirect uri so what is the redirect uri so when you will uh, get uh, you when you will when you are requesting for a code so it will redirect you on this uh, uh, this URL so I will tell you after a few moments so you need to enter the proper URL so if I uh, click on this create so it will uh, throw us an error that to uh, enter the proper name so client name should not contain Zoho okay so let me make this uh, test and click on this create so it will like uh, tell us that redirect URL should be a valid address and yes it's now the so if this error happens so let's enter http and then type this so this way this is now a proper url so click on this create and yes now it's created and we got this uh, client id and client secret so in the next video we are going to use this client id and secret so you can also uh, check your settings and uh, you can change your details whatever whenever you want so click on this update so this will update the information so i will meet you in the next one so next is uh, next video is going very amazing so i will meet you in the next one bye bye